Prince Harry, Meghan Markle $30 million wedding details are made up. A tabloid with a history of making up stories about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle is claiming to have details on their $30 million wedding. Gossip Cop can confirm that this, too, was manufactured and is inauthentic, just like so many articles that came before it. Though Kensington Palace has only announced the month and venue for Prince Harry and Markle's wedding, Life and Style is purporting to already know the extravaganza will cost at least $30 million. This appears to be a guess simply based on the fact that Prince William and Kate Middleton's nuptials cost around $34 million, making it one of the most expensive weddings of all time. For this affair, the gossip magazine asserts security alone for the big day is expected to cost a whopping $25 million with another $2 million going to planes carrying guests. The outlet assigns $500,000 or a bar budget, as well as $600,000 for food, including a 10-tier, 5-foot-tall wedding cake covered in white, edible flowers. Yes, Prince Harry and Markle only announced their engagement less than a month ago, and the wedding isn't until May, yet the publication wants readers to believe it already knows the specifics of their cake. Another dollar amount thrown out is $500,000 for Markle's wedding dress. But Gossip Cop has already explained how the tabloid merely consulted an old interview the actress gave more than a year ago as the basis for claiming the top contenders to craft Meghan's dress as Ellie Saab and Jay Mendel. Even claims about the attendees, alleged to include Serena Williams and the Beckhams, are really just based on online speculation. None of the supposed details asserted by the magazine are official, and none would actually be leaked to the outlet by anyone legitimately connected to the royals. It's also pretty rich that life and style is claiming to have any insight at all when it falsely claimed Prince Harry and Markle were engaged in November 2016, a full year before they actually were. This is also the same publication that outrageously claimed Prince Harry impregnated a teen in 2015. In other words, this is not a tabloid that has real inside access to the monarchy, so it is forced to concoct its own narratives. That's why fans are best off waiting for official details from them palace and relying on suspect information from a gossip magazine.